Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and today I'm here to dispel the myth of old growth forests. Every time I put up a video in the comments here on YouTube or over on Reddit, people are freaking out. Oh my god, how could you put your hunter or your gatherer or your herbalist in anywhere where you've got like a forester's lodge or anything like that? And because they're freaking out, you can only put those things in old growth forests. And some people say, well, no, it doesn't apply to hunting. It only applies to herbalism or this or that. Listen, as far as I can tell, there's no such thing as an old growth forest. It simply is not a, a, a concept that exists in the game. However, what does exist is the concept of mature, fully grown trees. Okay, so I set up three areas at the start of the game, and I've been running this thing for 20 years at this point, watching very carefully and, and recording the metrics as much as possible. So I have three areas. This area here has never had anything cut, has never had a single rock collected, and has never had a single piece of iron picked up. It does have a uh, an herbalist and a hunter's lodge and a gatherer um, right here. Okay, it's got all three things. Over here, we have a an area that was never clear-cut either. Has the same three buildings plus a forester's lodge. Now, the forester, of course, will collect items. It will collect rock, it will collect iron, it will collect wood. Um, and then it will replant trees at the same time. And then we have a third area here, which actually doesn't have a hunter's lodge. The only thing that differs. But it does have an herbalist. It has a... It doesn't have a gatherer, are there? Because at this point, I was just testing for the herbalist. So it has an herbalist. It has a hunter's lodge. But the big thing with this one is it was 100% clear-cut from the beginning. I cleared this area completely and then let it grow from scratch at that point. And now, if you're looking at these three numbers, can you tell which one is which? Now, first of all, let's talk about hunting first. As far as I can tell, this area was actually the most successful hunting area throughout the game, uh, far above this area, generally outperforming it 2 to 1. It could be lots of things about geography or whatever, although I will note that this area here, a fair bit of it is exposed by water, there's a few hills as well, but this area always performed better in hunting. Well, what about in gathering? Same thing, this area always performed better in gathering as well. It was about 33% more effective at gathering. And then finally, the big question, what about herbalism? Because this is the one specifically that references the old growth forest idea. Well, out of these three, the one that's performed the least well this year is the actual untouched old growth forest. The other two areas have both performed better this year, and in the previous year, this area here is the 180, performed much, much better. As far as I can tell, herbs, or herbs, depending on where you're from, grow based on mature trees more than anything else. So, as long as you have fully grown trees, you will get the spawn of herbs and potentially these other um, resources as well. So, if you have a single forester's lodge that is massively overworked, yeah, you won't get a lot of mature trees, so it will impact your gathering and herbalism and maybe your hunting, I don't know. But, so long as you have, uh, they're not being overworked and not constantly cutting down everything, which means, you know, maybe build a second one. For example, over here, which doesn't have a, a forester's lodge, if I built a forester's lodge over here, it would clear the area and grow more trees, and assuming I wasn't cutting down the trees 100% of the time, as long as you're not hovering at zero for your logs all the time, you're going to end up with a lot of mature trees, and in fact, you're going to get better performance than if you simply don't touch an area, because you're going to end up with more trees overall. Both this area and this area have more mature trees than the area that has never been touched. And that's what the Foresters Guild can actually do for you. And so I hope that dispels the myth. Depending on what your map is, depending on what your layout is and what your immediate demands are, you might get better results from herbalism and gathering and maybe even hunting from actual sort of virgin forests. But that's not an automatic truth, and in fact, if you've set up your your town in the appropriate manner, you will actually get better performance from somewhere that has a forester's lodge, just because it's the maturity of trees that matter. So there you have it. I hope that dispels the myth, and now whenever someone leaves a comment, I can just link them to this video, and, and there you have it. And I'm fully willing to be corrected by the game developer, but as far as I can tell, it's simply tree maturity that, that matters. So this one here is like more old growthy, than this one here. And actually, even this one is more old growthy than this one here. And this one was clear cut like two years ago, maybe three years ago. I'm not sure how long it took for the trees to grow back. Um, but it's very recently clear cut. And the clear cut answer is that Forester's Lodges are awesome and old growth forests do not seem to exist. See you next time, folks.